guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Catherine and I'm currently a second year PhD student studying history at The Ohio State University. And in today's video, I'm gonna take you guys on a weekend in my life as a PhD student. This morning, my first task was to finish grading all of the quizzes that my students took in the class that I TA for. I was able to do that, which is great. And then I did a tiny bit of reading for one of the books that I'm working on for my comprehensive exams. But next up, I am going to run some errands with Colleen, my roommate. We are first up going to go to a tire place. I need to get the air in my tires checked out. The tire pressure light came on a few days ago. Then we're gonna go to Michael's and then we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and who knows. We're going to this area in Columbus Easton that has a bunch of different shopping places. So we might just end up going to a bunch of different places, but we'll see where we end up. Okay, we are back from errands. Colleen and I did not film while we were out. A, because I didn't bring my camera, also B, we were just focused on the shopping. You know, also it was very hectic because it is a Saturday. I do not like shopping on a Saturday especially because we went to Easton um, and it was pretty crazy. We went, I got my tires checked out, got the pressure all fixed. And then we went to Michael's. I'm doing a fun little day with my boyfriend later, a painting, painting thing. So I had to get a canvas, paints, brushes, all that. We went to Home Goods, got a basket to hold all of our puzzles. I forget what Colleen got. She got like a lot of different tea related things for our new tea stand. Oh, also, I think this has been in a few vlogs lately, but I didn't ever talk about it. Very, very exciting though. I got this new little stand. So we finally have a microwave and we have a place to put all of our tea, hot chocolate, et cetera, which is great because I have been living in this apartment or this house for a year and a half now and have never had a microwave, which is just really honestly a shame. So anyways, we are eating lunch now. Oh, we also went to Trader Joe's and I got this delicious, like potato and cheese gnocchi, which I'm so excited to try. So that's our plan for right now. Here's the gnocchi that I have heated up. And I think we're also gonna watch maybe an episode of America's Next Top Model. We are currently watching season nine. So it is a very old season. We're finding it hard to root for anybody except for one girl named Heather. Um, so we're just trying to get through the end of the season because we don't really like anybody else on this season. All right, well, lunch is over and it is now time to have a little virtual date with my partner. He lives in Texas, I live in Ohio, so we are long distance. And today we are going to do, we're gonna paint some canvases. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of like painting with a twist or I forget some of the other names of them, but basically it's like where you go paint something while you like drink, have a drink. Um, and they have ones where you can do it with a partner. And so you each paint like one half of the painting and they come together. I found a tutorial online on YouTube to do one of these. Now the catch is obviously we are not next to each other. And obviously we're not gonna be able to see what the other person's painting really looks like if it's the right colors that we're mixing up. So we're gonna see how this turns out. Maybe we can post our finished product like next to each other and see how it looks. But we both went out and got canvases and we have paint and some painting brushes. So I'm just kind of getting my setup together right now. I've got on this side, I have the video that we're gonna do. He's over here trying to get stuff set up. And in the meantime, I am just trying to set up my little painting station with my water for my brushes and all that good stuff. But now it is time to have a nice, cute little Saturday day. You need yellow? Bright yellow or just yellow? I, I did bright yellow. Orange. And then bright pink. Okay. Well, I'm not really that committed to needing this to be identical on every single plan. It could be what she said for her fit. Like, it doesn't exactly match the stuff. Okay, 
date afternoon, I would say date night, but it was purely in the afternoon, is over. We finished our painting. So here's my side of the painting and my partner and his debut on my channel. Here's my masterpiece. <laughs> here's his side of. So I'm gonna do it like this. I don't know if you can see. So anyways, they go together. I'll insert a picture. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll just insert a picture here. What do you think of the activity? How was it? It was a lot of fun. I don't consider myself an artsy person, so it was fun to be able to uh, give it a try and have a lot of fun along the way and see that I can do uh, some uh, partner-style art. <laughs> I think I should plug the video that we, that we used. We used this website i'll remember it in a second it's called like van gogh box i think they you can order kits from them online and then they ship it to you and you can do it at home we just bought all of our own supplies at michael's and then followed along with the youtube video but they have a bunch of different ones so if you're looking for a fun little activity solo with a roommate with a friend um use this website because it was, it was a really fun activity <laughs> all right Okay, I really did not get the work done today. <laughs> Andrew cannot stop cracking up because he's watching me be a fool on camera. So today I really did not hardly get the amount of work that I wanted to get done. Um, I was supposed to read 83 pages of a new book on the French Revolution and I was supposed to work on an assignment for my prospectus class. But you know what, I took a rest day and sometimes you just need to rest to prevent burnout, which Justin was just telling me that I need to not burn myself out pre-general. So I got some more work done. I did finish one of the books though, which is good. And I have been working on editing my video that's gonna go out tomorrow on Sunday. I need to finish up a few things for that. It is now 10 p.m. and I've yet to do my yoga today, but I wanna keep going with this 30 day yoga challenge. So I'm gonna change into some yoga appropriate clothing do my yoga, and then honestly just probably go to bed right after that because I am wiped tomorrow. I have some readings to do. I need to work on that assignment that I did not work on today. But in the afternoon, I will be out for a little while. So we'll see how I end up scheduling my day. But yeah, I don't even need to end because I'm gonna go do yoga. All right, we're done. <laughs> see you in yoga, bye. I want a blanket. Sunday. So much work to do today. This afternoon I'm going over to hang out with Andrew's parents. My partner's parents actually live here in Ohio which is nice because I can't see him very frequently but I can go hang out with his family so I think I'm gonna go over there around 1 or 2-ish. It is currently 10 30. I've already been working on my readings for a little bit. My book that I am starting today is by Lynn Hunt. It's called Politics, Culture, and Class in the French Revolution. I'm going back to the French Revolution to start on a new section for my general exams. My major field is Modern Europe and I've set out a schedule for the next two months to try and work on different sections. That way I can just focus on one section at a time. So this first section is state formations and revolutions and we are starting with books on the French Revolution. So this book is seeming to go pretty fast so far. I'm just getting through the introduction but my goal today is to get through half of this book and then after I get back from hanging out with Andrew's parents, I am going to work on an assignment that is due for my prospectus class tomorrow that I have done like zero work on. So I really need to get to moving on that. <laughs> but for now, I'm just gonna try and get through half of this book in the next few hours before I have to run over to Reynoldsburg. Okay, I'm taking a quick little lunch break. I have some butternut squash soup that I got from Trader Joe's, some bread and some goat cheese, and I'm talking to my sister. Wave hello. <laughs> 
So I'm gonna keep talking to her and eat my lunch before I head out for the afternoon. So that's pretty much the end of my weekend. I ended up being with my parents' partners from probably like 1.30, 1.45 p.m. until around 7. It was so much fun. We watched this new movie, Free Guy. I think it came out last year, actually. It's with Ryan Reynolds. It was so funny. Would highly recommend if anyone's looking for a new movie to watch. Then we had dinner at this pizza place called Vix in Reynoldsburg that's apparently been around for like ever and chad for a little bit. So when I got back, I finished my assignment. I worked on it for probably like two hours. I will say that is the fastest I've ever turned in an assignment. I feel like old Catherine would never have started and completed an assignment in the same day. But look at me, I'm a second year, I'm learning, I'm growing. I'm also realizing that not everything has to be perfect, especially with an assignment such as the one I was just doing, which was all about draft. It's, it's a draft and it's okay if it's not fully completed because that's not the purpose of the exercise. So I turned it in, went to bed pretty late. I feel like originally I thought, oh, this weekend wasn't productive. Honestly, I still did an assignment. I completed a book. I prepared for some meetings I have this week. So overall, it was a very productive weekend. I would say I usually don't have so many activities planned for one weekend, but that's just how it ended up being. But it was really fun. I had a really nice weekend. This week is gonna be pretty hectic. I am actually going to Florida to visit two of my best friends, Denning and Katie. I'm sure most of you have not been watching since I started this channel back in 2015, but I originally started this when I was working at Disney, and these are two of my friends who I met seven years ago while working at Disney, and I haven't seen them in two and a half years, so I am headed to Orlando, Florida for the weekend, and I think we might be in St. Petersburg for a little bit too. I'm not planning on going to the Disney parks. That sounds like a complete nightmare to me right now. We're just gonna be very chill, but I'm very excited for that. I have a lot to do before then in terms of prepping for reading and continuing my work for generals. I will be taking some books with me because comprehensive exam preps does not stop for the weekend and it does not stop for little getaway trips. So I will be working, but I'm also really excited to just have fun. Thank you guys so much for watching another video, another weekend in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions about PhD life or grad school, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I try and respond to all the comments I get, so just leave one right down below. And if you're not already, subscribe to my channel if you want to keep seeing more PhD content. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.